Welcome back to some Spanish pop-up lesson. My name is Marinda and I am with the Chattanooga Public Library. Today we are going to travel through North America, Central America, and down to South America to look at three national dishes that make me feel very hungry. So, we're going to talk today about comida latinoamericana. So Latin American food, and I'm going to show you mole, gallo pinto, and ceviche. So the first dish, mole, comes from Mexico, up there in North America. Mole is like a sauce or a marinade that you would put over uh, some meat on your dish. And Mexico is known for its mole, and there are actually many different kinds, but I am showing you mole rojo. Some of the key ingredients in mole are cebolla, up here, cebolla, ajo, up here, ajo, almendras, almonds that are ground up, Chiles secos, chiles secos. You might recognize the word chile. Seco means dry. So chiles secos are dried chilies. Then, interestingly, we have chocolate. Ground bittersweet chocolate goes into many mole dishes. And chocolate itself actually has its roots in southern Mexico. The Aztec Empire were the first to really cultivate chocolate, and because of them, we get to have all of the yummy chocolate dishes that we love today. So, mole takes a very long time to make. It brews, it stews for a very long time. You have to grind up all of your ingredients, add them slowly to your dish, and over hours even, you add broth to these ground up ingredients till you get the perfect thick consistency that you want and once it's all been slow cooked over a long time it's ready to be poured over a yummy dish. Now we move on to Central America. So we see below Mexico, we come down here, we're going to visit Nicaragua. I had the pleasure of living in Nicaragua when I was a bit younger, and my favorite dish ever is gallo pinto. I would eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For breakfast, my favorite, favorite thing is to have gallo pinto with a fried egg on top, as you can see in this picture. So gallo pinto is actually rice and beans that have been cooked for a very long time. Then, if you want to make it extra yummy, you can put a fried egg on top and break it up as you eat it. You can serve it with fried plantains. Some of the key ingredients in gallo pinto in Nicaragua, of course, are frijoles rojos. We have these up here. Frijoles rojos. If you know your colors in Spanish, you know rojo means red. Frijoles are beans. So frijoles rojos, red beans. Below this we have arroz. Arroz is a word you've probably seen before when you go out to eat Mexican food. Arroz is rice. And again, for your color, blanco. Arroz blanco, white rice. And of course, our staples, we have ajo and cebolla. Ajo and cebolla, garlic and onion. And then my favorite part, huevos fritos. Huevos are eggs, as we see, huevo. Frito is a word that means fried. So frito might be a word that you've seen before, and in Spanish it means fried. Okay, last country. We've now gone from Central America down into South America. 
Peru is the country that we are going to visit in South America. And we're going to look at their dish, ceviche. Okay. So, ceviche is basically like a raw fish salad, which may not sound appetizing to you at first, but I promise it's super refreshing and really, really yummy, especially if you like cebolla. So, some of our major ingredients, as always, we have ajo and cebolla. We have pescado, okay? This is what we're going to call fish that we eat in Spanish. So we have a Spanish word for the animal fish, but the food fish is called pescado. So up here we have a pescado filet. Then we have sal. Sal, that might look familiar to you. Maybe you think it's missing a letter. In Spanish, this is called sal. And then over here we have chiles again, but this time the chiles are not seco. These are chiles frescos. They are fresh chiles from Peru. And then one of the most important ingredients in ceviche is lima. We gotta have that lima. Interesting fact. Lime actually works chemically with the raw fish to make it feel cooked in its own way. So if you marinate your pescado in lima, it actually affects the protein in your pescado. When you eat it, it feels cooked. So with ceviche, you're going to cut up your fish and you're going to marinate it in lime or lemon juice in lima or limon. You're going to dice up some cebolla and ajo, some chile, and you're going to add some sal. When you have all that together, you can eat that with your fried plantains. You can see these on the side. Platanos fritos. Um, or you can just have it as an appetizer before a larger meal. It's very, very popular both in Peru and abroad. These three types of comida latinoamericana are my favorites, and I recommend that you go out into our community and visit some Mexican or Peruvian or Central American restaurants and see if you can get a taste of these for yourself. Uh, again, go look for some mole, from a traditional Mexican restaurant, Gallo Pinto, from a Central American restaurant, or even Ceviche from a Peruvian restaurant. And let us know what you think. You can always tag us if you decide to make this dish for yourself. Uh, let us know what you think about it, either on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Thanks for watching.